Welcome back to the Fanfare of the Knight of Naples. This is the back half of this movement. We're going to check out all the fantastic melodies, the chords, and then there is the beautiful Espanoleto melody coming back. Let's dive in. Fantasia Concerto by Rodrigo. Welcome back. Here we go. Tempo di Espanoleta. All right, so back to the top of the piece. We left it off on that C sharp and D. That's a hold, cut, and then and this is you, this is all cadenza, so make it count. One, three, four, half bar, I use two and three, cut in that D. Four, four, one, three, four. Now I've seen lots of people drop that A, don't. And then we're into half bar, four. I take this up, one, two and then come back down on my second finger. Third finger guides up. Back down, one, two, third finger guides up, this time C natural. And then stretching out, one, two, four, three, one, zero, zero, two, stay down. One. Stop, and then you're into the next phrase dropping it down into the tenor range. There are different ways of playing that, obviously. The main thing is you want to get this melody connected. Okay, really, really beautiful. That is definitely, definitely a Rodrigo melody there. Back to the tenor range. I'm not going to fiddle about with doing everything on one string. We're literally got to keep it nice and simple relatively because we have bass notes. Open one, two, four, one. Then this has to be three, zero because it's got to be two, four because we're going into this F major. Third finger up, one, two, two, four, two, zero. Zero, zero. Now, one, two. Option one, or you could do. Um, that's another preferred option because obviously it mimics the that we've already seen there. So that's fantastic little moment expressivo written by Rodrigo. Dive in, have fun, make it, make it your own. Seriously. 11 bars of orchestra coming up next. We get to sit and bathe in that melody, being surrounded in that melody from the orchestra before you come back in with some fancy finger work. Just sat and bathe the orchestra's melody. We are on two choices. Choice number one, everything stays on the second string. So it is up here with one and three. And obviously as not written, hammer-ons pretty much all the way through this even though it's not in the score. All right, here we go. Alternative angle. I'm not going to do right hand because it's just I am. Just follow the fingers. We're going to stay on the second string for this one. This is the first option. Everything just goes up and down. One and three. Down to three. Up to six. Five. Down to one to five, four, open, three, that makes it nice and easy. The only thing you've got to keep track of then is the numbers of the frets. Obviously I am generally trying to use my strongest fingers for the slurs and obviously these are, are triplets so it needs to be one and uh, two and a uh, three. Count it out. That is option one. Alrighty, option two is a combination of two strings. You will need to start four, two, and this is this is the option that is written in the Segovia score. I'm not a big fan of it, but again, that is your choice. Four, two, one, two, one, three. Then Segovia suggests two, four. One, two, one, three. And then he says stay on second string, but I suggest just staying in position. Three, four. 
zero one, one three. So the, the choice really is up to you as to where you want to finger it. Again, you could do a combination of the two. So that's a micro study all on its own. Take some time with that, get your own fingering, either across two, keeping an eye on where you're going, you'll have to memorize it, or um, one and two. Okay, here we go, some fantastic chords here. Remember we're in six, eight, so it's one, two, three, four, and one stay on. Off, C. Then one, zero, half bar with the three, two. I would suggest one, two, three, four. One, one, keeping your two and three, four down. One, zero, four. Two, three, four, open, four, two, and then you're in for one and two. That's my fingering. Okay, from the E, back to this A minor G sus chord. Off, and into C, and then we're gonna laser ahead to the next micro study. All right, here we go, next micro study. So we're up at the top, melody important. Okay, you've already seen that uh, many, many times in this movement. However, Rodrigo now does harmony as well. Bar at nine, one, three, two. Pull off. And then what you're gonna do is you can slide down with three, one on at seven, four, two on. It's written as a pull off, I don't think it works. Staying in position, one, two. And then what you're going to do is again, your third finger is going to float down into a half bar. Pre-prep one to the minor, one down. E, stopping the D string as you pull off onto the G sharp and then up again, one and one. That's actually quite challenging. So I would suggest you get the chord shapes first. and then put the melody line in. All right, and then there's a, another little tiny break and then we get to the next set of chords. Here we go. So again, two, three, four. Open if you want to. Half bar, one, four. Now you could take this here. Okay, which is, which is, which is the easier option, but again, you're doing, you're doing. Zero, one. A minor with a D. <laughs> Can you tell I like that bit? All right, so that is option one for that. And then we have here, zero, four, so that you can do a half bar backwards. One, four, into. And then six bar break before we get into that fantastic ending, which I'm doing on its own micro study because again, we have options. Option one, staying in fifth position. One, three, one, 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 four, four, two, harmonic. Okay, nice and simple, nothing to it. Obviously making a meal of it. It says sends a ponticello, writ, that's your call. Option two, open, three, one, one, violin and slide, three, two, one, stretching out, four, two, one, or you could do, that harmonic can be played in different places, but also with that option, as per the original, you could do, there is a harmonic there as well. That is the end of this fantastic movement. We've just got the final movement to go. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been a fun, quick movement, lots of horses and a lots of ponticello. So this has been your daily dose of Rodrigo Concerto from myself, Rain, and Classical Guitar Rocks. If you've enjoyed this, consider hitting the like button and maybe subscribing to the channel for some more crazy Rodrigo Concerto action. Next video is on its way just about now.